With the Assault class in Battlefield 5, we've got a wide selection of weapons to choose from. We've got a couple of SMGs which are good for when you want to get up close into the action and on the front line. And then we have these semi-auto rifles which are amazing for longer ranges and taking those calculated accurate shots. But between both of these types of weapons, is there any middle ground? Is there a weapon which allows you to be effective in both long range and close quarters combat? Well today, let's take a look at the best weapon for the Assault class in Battlefield 5. So, firstly, the Assault class has been given 8 guns from launch, which is a pretty solid number of weapons. And as I said, there's a few full automatic ones in here, which are great for getting up close and onto the objective. And then some are better for those longer ranges. So, let's take a look at a few of the best weapons in this class. And then, we can narrow it down to the very best one. So, firstly here we have the Stormgewehr 1-5, which is the starting weapon for the Assault class. But don't let that fool you, as this weapon is an absolute beast in close range. Although I will admit, using this weapon with the iron sights is probably the most painful experience you can have in this game. Although, that's easily fixable by just putting on a sight on the top of this weapon. I personally still use this weapon, although I do have access to all of the other weapons in the Assault class. Just because of this gun's rate of fire, which is deadly in close range, it's very easy to control recoil-wise, and it does have a magazine size of 31 bullets. So overall, this is a very good option if you're looking to get really up close with the enemy, although it does suffer a little bit at those longer ranges. The next gun here, which is probably my favourite gun to use in the entire game, is the Gewehr 43, which is the second weapon you will unlock while playing with the Assault class. The Gewehr 43 is a semi-auto rifle with a pretty slow fire rate once you first unlock it, meaning that this isn't going to be all that great for close range engagements, but once you start using this gun at farther ranges, this easily becomes the best semi-auto rifle for the Assault class. And yet again, once you start to unlock some of those specializations for this weapon, you can upgrade it to become even better at farther ranges. I have mine set up for accuracy, stability, and higher velocity bullets, making this gun extremely effective for those long range engagements. Although you can take this weapon to close range, you'll find yourself getting outgunned by some of those faster firing weapons very, very often. So, how I recommend you use this weapon is by putting on the 3x scope on there, which you can do as soon as you unlock it, start leveling it up to get some of those specialization upgrades, and then choose the following upgrades for this rifle. High velocity bullets, making shooting targets at range much, much easier. Enhanced grips, just to give the weapon some good hip fire capabilities, which can come in handy from time to time. Then detachable magazines, which make reloading a lot quicker, which allows you to get back on target faster. And then lastly here, we have a barrel bedding, which gives you improved accuracy when you are stationary. And when you're shooting from range, you're most of the time gonna be stationary. So overall, this gun is very close to being the best for the Assault class, but I find that it's more beneficial when being used at long range. Back in the Battlefield 5 earlier this year, I found the M1A1 Carbine to be the best weapon in the game. Well, what do I think of it now? Well, firstly, this is a great all-around gun, as it performs great at long range, and even better, in close quarters. The M1 has a very fast rate of fire, although it is semi-automatic, but it has no problem going up against the SMGs in close range, and it is also extremely accurate for those longer ranges. So this gun really can be used on any map and in any situation, as if you're in the wide open and spot somebody in the distance, this gun can handle it. Or on the flip side of things, if you find yourself in an urban environment, this gun is well able to perform when it needs to. Although this weapon it does have one big downside, which does put a lot of people off using this weapon, and that is its damage output. As I said, you can take on targets at long range, but it does take quite a lot of bullets to do so. And sometimes it does become a bit of an annoyance, although in close range, that really isn't much of an issue. But taking on enemies from afar can become a bit annoying over time. So for the final weapon I want to talk about, this is the M1907SF, which some of you may remember from Battlefield 1, although this time here in BF5, it has gotten a massive rate of fire increase at 770 rounds per minute, although it doesn't really have any dramatic recoil, which you would expect from a weapon with such a high rate of fire. 
In close range, this weapon performs and feels exactly like an SMG, if not better than one. The rate of fire is extremely competitive and the recoil is very easily managed. And when you take this weapon out to long range engagements, you can fire it either in short bursts or switch it over to semi-auto, making it even more accurate. Now I would say that the 1907 is a kind of like the Gewehr 43 at range, but it does do a little less damage. And then in close quarters, as I said, it feels just like an SMG. Now when I first started using this gun, I expected there to be some sort of catch, like a really bad bullet drop off or a horrible reload time. But really, there wasn't anything to fault with this weapon. So after playing a few rounds and unlocking some of the upgrades for it, I chose the following weapon specializations. Well, I pretty much just chose the entire right side upgrades. But anyways, firstly I chose quick aim, then extend magazines to let me continue firing as the high rate of fire really does burn right through your bullet count, and then I put on the custom stock giving me improved accuracy while moving, which does come in very handy indeed. And then lastly here we have the lightened stock. Now when I really care for all that much, but it was either this or the bayonet charge, which is pretty useless in BF5. So all of these combined certainly gives me an all-around amazing and kind of overpowered rifle. So, what is the best weapon for the assault class in Battlefield 5? Well, that has to go to the M1907SF, an all-around amazing weapon at everything it does and performs great in every situation. And I know that everybody is going to have a different opinion on this, although this is the weapon which I have found to be the best out of them all. So, that's really it for today's video, guys. I'm thinking about making these sort of videos into an ongoing series that you guys can interact with. So maybe by having a straw poll or just a poll on the YouTube video itself where you guys can vote on which weapons you think are the best for each class, and I pick the top three and maybe we compare them or something like that. Anyways, give me your ideas down below in the comments so we can make this series as good as possible. Anyways, guys, if you want to see more content just like this, go ahead and click the bell and subscribe icon. But for now... Thank you guys so much for watching, hope you're having an awesome day, and I will see you in the next Battlefield video.